Good morning. Um, we are at the right time at the right place. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to Big Ten because of this media day for women's basketball and men's basketball. As uh, a female women's basketball coach, this is outstanding. What a great day. Um, we appreciate it. I just wish you could have saw my players' eyes when they walked in here. I want to say thank you to you. This is the right time. The Big Ten is at its best. Seven teams ranked in the top 25, 70% of the players coming back. Uh, it's something to cover, and it's going to be great basketball. But it, we need you. And I want to say thank you in advance, okay, for your support. Um, this, this summer was an interesting summer after the end of our, our COVID year, and I know everybody has personal stories, and I go from a, a basketball standpoint. I said it last week in our, in our press conference is that uh, for our, us and our team, it was time to reflect, and it started with me and a personal reflection of who we wanted to be, um, what our vision was. And I, th I think it's really important when something is taken away from you, uh, a lot of the things that develop team chemistry, and especially with the program that's trying to grow, you have a great appreciation for the chemistry and synergy you have to build back. And that's what we did this summer. We had a great summer. Uh, we have, um, unlike a lot of teams, we have six new players. One of my goals during the uh, addition of our team was we needed some scoring. We, as a team, had a pace of top 15% in the country. We, we could run, but our efficiency wasn't where we wanted to be at. So we, we got three, transferred, uh, three transfers, uh, Kendall Bostic, uh, Demila Brown, and Sara Adasteska. All three of them were from programs that win, programs that they were key players, and programs where they scored. And that was important to us. Um, we also have three freshmen coming in. Well, one is Miss Minnesota, Adelia McKenzie. And as we kind of built this with the seniors and juniors and kind of bringing that together, I feel like we've got that, that chemistry in the locker room that we need. The, the veterans uh, combined with the youthful people that want to put the ball up a lot. So it, it's been um, a really good start. But I always tell our kids, everybody's excited right now. Okay, it's going to be the day-to-day. -day. It's going to be when we have to really go after it. Um, when it's into December, into January. Everybody can start, we, we've got to learn to finish. It is a, a special um, year. It's the 40th anniversary of the first Big Ten championship game between Ohio State and Illinois. We'll be celebrating that, we'll, and uh, we will be playing Ohio State. We'll recognize that. So a lot of good things and an exciting time to grow. Um, we're in a different position. We're excited, we're focused, and uh, if you're going to be in the best league, that's where I want to be, and I think the Big Ten is the best league. We'll now take questions for Coach. Jeremy Warner, 24-7 Sports. Good morning, Nancy. I'm just wondering, in, in your time uh, in women's basketball, how, how much has changed around the sport, the attention of the sport, um, and, and just the health of the sport? Uh, changed is amazing. Just, I, I'm standing above, in front of you guys right now um, in an incredible facility. Um, it, it, it's, I was talking to somebody else today, and when I'm driving up here with my players and they're talking about the WNBA game or they're talking about, what is this going to be really like, Coach? I, you know, we don't know what this is. You know, putting young women in this situation, or they get an opportunity to talk about basketball, um, it's created jobs, it's created uh, uh, a future, and more importantly, what the game has given back is women an opportunity to grow in places that we just didn't really have. I mean, I didn't even, when I went through school, it was, oh, you want to be a nurse or a teacher. I mean, I don't mean to date myself, but it's changed that much. This game has really opened up doors that I wish you could all see, um, and I wish you could be in the car or ride home, because I have a feeling their stories here are going to be special in a lifetime, and they're going to bring them back. Uh, we just inducted Jenna Smith into the Hall of Fame at Illinois, and I say that because just the conversations those kids have with them, you know, developing women leaders is so vital. We have time for one to two more questions for Coach. In the back. Uh, Nancy, you said you brought in Kendall Bostic. 
Kendall, of course, is an Indiana kid, played at Northwestern outside of Kokomo. She came from Susie's program at Michigan State. What do you think? What do you see her as leading, leading your team with, or what kind of what value can she bring to the Illinois? Uh, basketball in person, person first. Okay, incredible person, incredible family, um, solid. Every day just comes in and does her does her job. That you know, and that's first. The, the basketball part is she's a stretch four. She can hit the, the um, a perimeter shot. She's been leading our team weekly in offensive boards. And that tells you something about right there. You know, because you can do all you want about, hey, crash, crash, crash. She just does it. That combination is part of what I'm talking about, that, that, that maturity of our team. Um, so I'm extremely excited Kendall's with us.